This is Jeremy with Incan Expeditions, along with Jesse and Wild Heart Expeditions, and this is a pack rafting trip through the Peruvian Amazon. In Peru, and to the southeast, in Amazonia, we'll begin at Boca, Colorado, and raft down the Mother of God River to visit Oxbow Lakes and travel a total of 100 miles and join the Enambari River until we reach Labarinto. We begin at the mining town of Boca, Colorado on the Madre de Dios River. Looking at satellite views of the area beforehand, we noticed a number of sandy areas and quickly discover why. Gold mining is allowed within a 500,000 hectare zone, but still 20% can be found outside and is considered illegal. I was curious to see how the animals would adapt to the encroachment. We clocked this river flow at three to seven miles per hour or five to 11 kilometers per hour. You could easily fall asleep and wake up somewhere else. Closer to the banks, you realize you're moving faster than you think, but you'll lose hours at a time around giant meandering turns. The river will often turn back on itself and form peninsula. Later, the river will find a shortcut and connect, which will create an adjacent oxbow lake. The rainy season has just ended, but we can still find trees crashing into the river where the banks have been eroded by high water levels. Along the way, we can find great egrets, black vultures, and hawks. We pick our first campsite on a bend. Then we set up our rain tarps and bug hammocks. It's time to dry out and get some rest. For me, setting up camp is a real pleasure, no matter how many times I do it. The next morning, we take a channel off the main river and paddle in for about 30 minutes until we reach an opening. This is Laguna Pucacocha, one of many oxbow lakes in the area. Nobody's here, so I take a minute to enjoy my peaceful Amazonian paradise. At the lake shore, Jesse has spotted a hotson, also known to the locals as a shancho. This prehistoric bird feeds on swamp vegetation and uses its stomach to ferment it for digestion, much like cows, goats, and sheep do. They don't smell so good, so some call them stink birds. We continue through the lake to the opposite end and to this lake's outlet channel, hoping to rejoin the main river. On the way, we see kingfishers, a black-crowned night heron, and jumping piranhas. We have rejoined the main river and float down a ways, then find an opening into the jungle. Up a flight of stairs, it's the Los Amigos Biological Station. We meet up with Jorge, the manager, who offers us a tour of the facilities. Since its establishment in 2000, it has hosted over 210 research projects and has recorded a total of 4,369 species in the area. There are 60 miles of trails which spread throughout this 360,000 acre concession. Los Amigos is equipped for 60 visitors and offers a chef, dining area, laboratories, offices, a lecture hall, and scientific library. They also provide guided tours and Wi-Fi. Returning to the Madre de Dios, we continue our float down. Now both of us looking for another opening into the forest. We find a small trail and hope that it will lead us to our next stop. Sure enough, it looks like we've reached Laguna Huitoto another oxbow lake, which seems to me to be much older. We immediately set out on our boats to explore, crossing over to the opposite banks. We find a gray-necked wood rail, who doesn't seem to mind us, then a black-capped Donacobius, and a red-capped cardinal. The heat of the day is now getting to me, so I pull over in a shaded area to take a break and let the raft cool down. Meanwhile, I decide to have a look below, to find fish from the Metinus and the Porina genre, as well as Tetras. There are also piranhas in this lake, but the big pakus are most likely in the main river. 
We continue further down the lake until we reach an island where Jesse decides to do some fishing. But I begin to notice something in the canopy. The Houghton are obviously bothered. Something is stirring them up. As Jesse continues to fish, I call his attention to the island's treetops. Just then, a spider monkey jumps and sits watching us. Now I've got his attention. Another one flies from tree to tree. And this one drops 20 feet. We're enjoying the show, but they finally stop to hang out and watch us. No locally of the Makisapa, the spider monkey has longer limbs compared to other genres, which is where it gets its name. Then after a bit, they head back up into the canopy. Then I look up as I hear a lot of squawking. They're macaws. Maybe red and greens, which are returning after the day of foraging. In an umbrella tree, I find blue and yellow macaws preening. These guys make great pets and don't come cheap. We make our way up to the nearby lodge to talk with Flora and her TD monkey. She has five available bungalows, a spacious dining area, and natural spring water on tap. She tells us there are giant caiman and river otters in the lake. And for the birding enthusiasts, toucans, herons, jacamars, motmots, and so on. In this shot, you can see my camera was fogging up, but look at the size of this caiman skull. It's time to head back, and it begins to rain. I'm scanning the banks for any activity, but don't expect much. Now we're both soaking wet as we trek back through the jungle. Even though we're uncomfortable, there's still something very cool about walking through the rainforest while it's raining. I'm not sure Jesse would agree. We're back on the main river, and it's late in the day. I discover a narrow channel, which probably leads to another Oxbow Lake. I have to check it out, and I want to keep going, but we're losing the light and we need to set up camp soon. This is exactly what I'm looking for when pack rafting. It's just big enough for my boat. It feels like a Disneyland ride and it keeps sucking me in further. We find a trail in and Jesse spots a few trees for our hammocks. The next day we set out early and it's still misty. The river has picked up, turned a darker color, and there is now debris which follows us. We're moving much faster and soon reach the confluence with the Enambadi River. Up ahead we see our final destination. Labirinto is another mining frontier type town where prospectors can exchange their gold for cash. It's been fun and educational. Join us on the next one and thanks for watching.